I'm Ursula from Ursula's Cooking School in Atlanta. I came here in 1971 from Central America where I was teaching for five years in every country. And I came here and I thought I may stay for a year and then travel cross country. My dream was end up in California and then from there to Australia. I started really when I was 19 in, in East Germany and uh, I had uh, three years at the home economic school and I needed three more years but I wasn't a communist and I was not accepted and this is why I escaped from East Germany in 1952. May 19 is the best day of my life because I made it. But anyway, I found a job in a milk bar. It, in a, it, it's not a, it was a restaurant, but mainly everything was done with milk, butter, cream, I mean dairy, you know. And I stayed there for five months, and then I got a job in a little coffee house and um, walked up there for a while. And then I went to England for two years, for, no, for nine months. The funny thing was the, the uh, priest from the town, his uh, mate had quit and he asked if one of us could help and I said oh I love to do it to see what is in a home you know what's going on and I had to cook for him and his mom every day and I didn't know any British food I didn't know how to make Yorkshire pudding <laughs> I could throw it on somebody said and kill somebody and the cook in the hotel had uh, quit you know and the, the priest said, oh, take Ursula, she knew wonderful how to cook. But I cooked all kind of German food because I didn't know how to make Yorkshire pudding or whatever they eat, you know. And I had people, they came, they called from Oxford and bigger towns, you know. They came and ordered things. They said, oh, we want this and this, what I had cooked. And they loved it. And I worked in Germany here and there and had wonderful positions in restaurants and one in a big bank as a manager in a, they had a private luncheon club and we had all kind of people, you know, top people, presidents from everywhere and I was unbelievable. And, uh, there came a guy one time and he said, if ever you look for another job, just ask me. And I knew he had one in New York and I said, in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. And I said, yeah, I like to go to New York. And he said, really? I said, yes. And he said, okay, great. I'd love to have you over there. But five months later, I went to Miami because I didn't want to stay only in New York, you know, I went to Miami. But in New York, I had met a couple from Central America and they invited me. They said, if ever you come, to Miami, you have to come and visit us, Tegucigalpa. I couldn't even say it, I didn't know where it is. I had to look at the map when I came at home and I said, oh, this woman is stupid. I was ready to throw the card up, well, I saved it. But anyway, they hired me in the hotel to help them, you know, they make better food and so on. And then people said, wow, and you have to think about it, in Central America is only poor and rich, there's no middle class. And they all said, wow, why is the food so much better, you know? And they said, oh, we have this German girl, you know, she shows us things and makes new things. They said, why don't she give cooking classes? And my old lady friend said, forget about this rich people. They come one time and never again. The daughter from the old lady from Honduras lived here in Atlanta. And I said, okay, let's visit her because I had met her. And uh, she took me to a friend's house for dinner. And I told them the same story, what I'm doing. And they said, there's no cooking school here in town. She said, they eat only cornbread and grits. I said, what is it? I don't even know what is cornbread and grits. Now they call me the grits queen. <laughs> and anyway, I said, oh, I like Atlanta. And I found the house where I'm still in. And this room here was my original classroom. And I had only 18 chairs, but then I had about 300 people waiting. And I said, God, what do I do? I looked around for a new place and I couldn't find anything. I said, hmm, why don't I build one? And I built it on my new classroom. And here I am. Started with five students and had in the meantime, every other week, 500. But it's a little bit slowed down now because you can sit it in front of the television now for 24 hours and watch television, right? And cooking shows. But I have some loyal students, they're here for 39 and 40 years. And they're still coming and I have them repeat recipes in this long time. And um, yeah, and I just love doing it.